kiss is what I believe to be a wonderful portrayal of love, self-discovery, self-identity. Um, even though it's wrapped up in a tragedy, there's still all of this beauty and love and emotion that is very raw and very unique to the specific time area in the 1990s of New York City. The show has everything. There's a lot of love, there's a lot of laughter, there's tears, I mean, there's something for every person. My character, she lived life as day by day. She was just going with the flow, she was having fun, she was being young in her 20s in New York City, and then she meets this person who flips her world completely upside down. What's unique to it is the fact that the 90s was not that long ago. Right, and there's still there's still violence that are happening towards the LBGT community. Um, but in my opinion, this play is not about being a part of that community. It's just about finding that person, and they just happen to be the same sex as you are. Stop Kiss is a very intimate show. It's something that we haven't done here at A State in a while, especially because of COVID. And we're going to get back in the black box, which is going to be a really exciting experience for the audiences. It's a really interesting dynamic because it's a much smaller space than the standard theater that you would expect. So the audience and the cast are much closer together. It's a lot more intimate, which is perfect for a show that's as intimate as Stop Kiss. You have permission to laugh at those really heartfelt, funny moments. You have permission to cry at moments where you think you're going to cry. There are some moments in this play that are relatable to everyone, no matter what experience you're having in your life. There are moments where you can look at a particular scene and be like, huh, I remember doing something like this at this age, or I am currently going through this right now. I think there's a strong connection with these characters. They're very real and they're very raw that I think that the audience would appreciate and see a little bit of themselves in each of our characters.